Hello, I'm Kristen Lee. Merry Christmas Eve if you celebrate. We got two more days and uh, then we'll, we'll be done. I'll be done with Vlogmas. Um, I figured today's video was going to be if you have me on and you're wrapping or, you know, doing stuff about the house and you're looking for a family movie to watch with your family or just a new movie to you that you haven't seen yet. I was going to throw out some suggestions. They're all streaming. Um, I've been watching most of them the last two days because I'm one of those people like I can't start December 1st. I have to, um, I, I have to wait until it's closer to Christmas so it feels like Christmas. Other than that, I get christmas out. So, what was the first one I watched? I watched it with a little bro. Oh, I watched Genie. That was cute. That had uh, Melissa McCarthy and a whole bunch of other people that I know, but I don't know their names. Um, but that's on Peacock. That was super cute. It had some nods to like the movie Elf. So I, I like that. And, um, I, I just, I don't know. I, I like Melissa McCarthy. So if you like her, you might like this movie. It's a, it's about a dad that works for like an artifact shop or part of a museum and he's kind of disconnected from his family something happens and he ends up finding this old jewelry box that he goes to give to his daughter she doesn't want it and he's looking at it and he he ends up you know sprucing it up a little bit and Melissa McCarthy pops out and shenanigans happen so <laughs> um but that was cute and then the next one I watched was Merry Little Batman. Uh, that is on Am Amazon. Yeah, Amazon. And I really liked it. I loved Bat Dad. Bat Dad was so cute. I hated whoever they had to play the Joker. Um, well, hate's a strong word. I, I just disliked them. They were trying to be too much like uh, whoever played the Joker in the Lego Batman movie very similar jokes and everything like that but um the storyline was really cute and I liked the fact that the story was like what if Bruce Wayne who you know who was Batman found out about Damien before you know Damien was all grown he was a baby what if he found out like he was going to be a dad what would he do you know how would he prepare as Batman <laughs> You know, so that was kind of cute. Uh, I I had to get used to the drawing because I'm more used to old school animated series kind. And this was drawn kind of like um, Fairly Odd Parents and The Loud House and um, Adult Swim kind of shows. Uh, Powerpuff Girls, that kind of animation. So I had to get used to that. But other than that, it was a cute story. Uh, and then I watched Diary of a Wimpy Kid, their Christmas special on Disney. <laughs> I used to read the books with the daycare kids. I don't remember this book. It was kind of terrifying. There's this elf on the shelf that's been in the family for years. And the middle kid, I can't remember his name. Anyway, it doesn't matter. He, um, he wants the newest game system and the elf on the shelf is up and he's trying to behave so that he can get the game system. Well, he ends up finding out that he did get the game system. So now he's trying to make sure that he behaves and everything like that so he doesn't lose it from his parents. And he's out with his friend and they end up breaking the, um snow plow I, I guess they only had one person that could snow plow on their street or whatever but they end up breaking the plow and there's like wanted signs for them to find out who broke the plow and then this huge nor'eastern comes and just 
drops a whole bunch of snow on their house. That for me is terrifying. And they're stuck in their house for like a week or something like that. And the dad is kind of like a prepper and he has toilet paper and everything like that and things start missing. So I mean, it was cute. It was cute for an animated movie. Um, but for me as an adult watching, I'm like, this is one of my nightmares. <laughs> like, cause they literally couldn't get out of the house. So I watched that. Then the next one I watched was Candy Cane Lane with Eddie Murphy. Totally worth it. That's on Amazon. That was fantastic. I love the claymation. <coughs> Sorry, somebody has a bonfire or something going on in their backyard. Um, but anyway, Eddie Murphy was fantastic. The, the kids that played in his family, the little girl was adorable. Um, I, if you haven't seen the preview for it, cause I know that they pushed it around Thanksgiving, but Eddie Murphy lives on a street that is Candy Cane Lane and they do a light display, decoration display for Christmas and this year there's a big prize at the end of it and he decides he needs new stuff to you know beat out everyone else he wants the prize so he ends up finding some random Christmas shop and he buys this huge um, 12 days of Christmas things and it comes to life and he has to go and um, collect all the rings to get all the pieces back and the guy that they got to play Santa was fantastic it was awesome it was great I'm gonna be watching that again before Christmas or even on Christmas Day because I loved it um, and then what was the other one? Oh, family switch was the last one I watched and that is freaky Friday, but make it Christmas. It's <laughs> the best way I can tell you. Uh, Jennifer Gardner was fantastic. The only thing that I don't like about it is why does every family movie have to have some flash mob sequence and some kind of musical thing where somebody is always wanting to be in a band or whatever. It just, I don't, why is that always a family thing? But, um, the girl that plays Enid, who I found out is going to be the lead in A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. I'm so excited. I love that series. So, and I think she's going to be great as the main character from that. Anyway, she's in this movie. She's fantastic. She's the teenage daughter trying to get into a national soccer team. Um, some of the stuff was hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Like Jennifer Gardner and a CPAP. Is it CPAP? <laughs> and one of those masks, you know, to help you breathe at night for sleep apnea. Oh my God. And then the husband has a uh, noise canceling things <laughs> and they're telling each other good night and he's like what <laughs> but it was really cool and it showed some really cool things in california that aren't always in movies so they showed the uh, griffith observatory which is you really should put it on your list it's a really cool place you can see the hollywood sign um and take your pictures with the Hollywood sign and you don't have to hike to it. And then you go inside and it has this huge Tesla coil and all these things about NASA and the planets and everything like that. So that was cool. The only, and the, the only other thing that drove me nuts is the dad being that bro guy that never grew up and he works at the high school excuse me so other than that it was a good movie um and then do not watch xmas is it xmas yeah it's on amazon it was horrible i couldn't get through it i had to turn it off <laughs> basically this guy he gets dumped before christmas 
and his family calls and says, hey, you know, are you coming home for Christmas? And he's like, no, you know, I got this deadline, da 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 So he ends up showing up randomly, and his ex is there, and I'm like, what BS is this? And my dad and I were trying to watch, and we couldn't get through it, so I do not recommend that. But yeah, let me know if you've seen any of these movies. What did you think? What was your favorite? I was really hoping that the movie with Chris Evans and Dwayne Johnson was coming out this year. I don't know if it's a Netflix movie or what, but I know that they were shooting it last year when uh, Spirited came out with Ryan Reynolds and uh, Will Ferrell. And I was, I was like, yes, I'm going to get really good Christmas movies next year, too. And it didn't happen because of the strike. So I'm hoping that comes out next year. But yeah. So, got two left. Who's left? Oh, PJ and Powerline still. It's PJ. He's so cute. Oh, hey, hey. Focus, focus, focus. I got it on cinematic. And it has the little box that follows you. All right. So I will see you tomorrow to wish you a Merry Christmas. Um, and yeah, hope you're having a great day and a great week. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.